G'day guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz again and today we're doing another product review, this time Hikari Micro Balance. So, what can I tell you? Nothing, because I've never used it once in my life. Never ever have I even opened a packet of micro pellets. You might be saying, Cam, why are you doing a review video on something you've never even looked at before? Well, the fact is that we sell truckloads of this stuff, like it is insane how many packets of these we sell each week. So obviously it's doing something good for somebody, so I thought why not give it a go. I've finally got some small fish. I've actually got some Cardinal Tetras currently, so I've got a few small fish, so I thought I'll open it up, give it a sniff, give it a feed, and give my thoughts on it. So that's why we're gonna deal with the Hikari micro pellets today. Straight off the bat, I can tell you I don't like the packaging it comes in. For me, I'm a um, sort of hard plastic container guy if I can. Um, I know that it's not always ideal, but I, I've never really enjoyed the bag um, type of deal when it comes to buying fish food, but that's just me. So it's definitely a micro pellet. Oops, oops, can't get my hand in the same position. Oh no, you're losing it. Those pellets are about half a mil, so they're pretty small. All right, so right in the back of the packet, we've got a crude protein of 43%, we've got crude fat of 7%, fiber 7%, moisture 10%, ash 17%, and phosphates 1.1%. We also have vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin E, and absorbic acid, all within it, and it says not for human consumptions. Thank you, Hikari, I wasn't sure of that one. Anyway, uh, overall, I think the pellet size is fantastic for small fish like Raspora, Tetras, and the likes of that, guppies, sword tails, that kind of thing would probably gobble this up really quickly as well. I don't like the packaging. I've never liked the packaging of Hikari. That's not going to change anytime soon, but there's nothing stopping me putting it into a small container that stands up and doesn't fall over like a container like this. Uh, for the price point, I think it's about 10 bucks. Pretty good value. What are we looking at? 22 grams, 22 grams of this size is going to last your small fish a very, very long time. Um, I definitely think it's probably um, a good product. Uh, being the black needles didn't take it straight away, but everything else took it straight away, including the laser quarry. I think I'm probably going to give it a eight, eight and a half. And now I'm looking in some coolie loaches out and about behind me. I wonder if I can change the view on this while I'm recording it. I don't think I can. Uh, yeah, some coolie loaches are out and about eating now, so everything that I've tried to eat it has just eaten it fairly quickly Other than the black neons, which took a little time, so yeah, somewhere around eight, eight and a half I think is a very good pass mark for this particular food. Priced well um, Fish take, it smells really nice overall. I'm gonna be quite happy to feed out the rest of this to my fish All right, that's me guys. Have a good one. Happy fish keeping and catch you later